Hello everyone, I'm going to show you how to set up the lower clamp for the M2 puck press. You need this tool and you need your group handles. They need to be hot because they're, they're bigger when they're, when they're hot than they are when they're small and it makes a difference. So the first thing you need to do is make sure the power is turned off. There's a switch here on the side which you can see it's going to be slightly off camera. That's alright because you'll be able to find it. Turn the power off. You can see down here there's two fasteners. That's what this tool is for. And here is a little adjusting knob that helps you move the, the lower clamp up and down into the correct position. So the first thing you need to do is to actually lo loosen the fasteners off. Now, just slightly off, not really, don't, don't make them real loose. Just slightly off, a little bit of a movement there. And the idea is going to be that when you want it to go up, you move that knob from the right to the left. So what we do is we put our group handle in and we bring it up, you can see it's moving, it's a little bit tight, push on it on the back. See how I've got my thumb there? I'm just pushing on the back there because that's when you do those fasteners up, that's what's going to happen. So that could probably go up a little bit, but what we need to do is find out which one of these is the biggest. Now that's a bit looser. And so is that. So we're going to go up a little bit. And I'll put it back in. There we go. That's nice and snug. Try that one. That's a little bit tight. <coughs> Try this one. That's a little bit tight. So we can go down just a fraction. Put it in. That's nice. And now it should rest in. The whole idea is you can go like that. And you don't need to hold on to it. So I'm now going to do these two fasteners up just a little bit, they don't have to be done up really tight at the moment because as I said it's going to move up a little bit when you do that so we, we check it again, see that's what's happened and again and again so I need to now loosen those two fasteners off fraction, take it down a little bit do it up just gently try again, a little bit tight they were all pretty close, so I know I don't have to check all three of them. So a little bit more down. In we go. That's, that's almost there. Yeah, just a fraction more down, I think, and we're going to be pretty well perfect. See, that was the biggest one, that one there. So release them off again. Again, and a little bit more of an adjust. Should be pretty good now. Uh, bear with it. You don't have to do this every day. Once you've got it set up, it's easy peasy. And again, now we're checking. Yes. Yes. Yep. That's, that's good. <clears throat> the advantage of not having these done up too tight is that if one is just a fraction like that one was, fraction big, that's my friend in the background. <clears throat> that's it. Job. Okay, that's it. That's the job done. So now you're ready to make perfect coffee all day long. Thank you very much.